In this video, we're taking a closer look at RimWorld. We're looking at the pros and cons and everything you need to know before you buy RimWorld. But is the game actually worth playing? Let's find out. Ivan, game grader here. And RimWorld is a base building, survival and colony simulator game. You have to survive long enough until you can eventually leave the planet and be saved. Now, RimWorld is out in full release for $30 on PC. So in RimWorld, before you start playing, you have to create a world. And this is done by first choosing a scenario and a storyteller. And this basically corresponds to the game difficulty. And of course, the harder the difficulty, the less resources, the less survivors you start with and this makes the game a lot harder you also get the option to create your own team of the characters that come with you this is where you can customize your game a lot and focus on certain aspects for instance having a really good crafter or shooter might be great for your overall survival but all survivors come with their pros and cons since a survivor with great cooking skills might be terrible at everything else so what do you choose now before you create the game you also choose a storyteller and this will change the overall game difficulty and can make the game unbelievably punishing while some storytellers might give you resources over time others might just give you random events at any time now an early game in RimWorld, after creating your team you choose a spawn point in the world and this can matter a lot since each different location will be very different in climate and resources available some locations have a lot of trees mountains or rivers but starting in a temperate climate is usually a good starting area for a beginner as it will allow for more variety in resources and you won't freeze to death on day one now let's look at some of the game mechanics so RimWorld is all about survival and this is done by ordering your workers to complete certain tasks make them build up a base and houses farm resources like wood or stone and of course gather food and you also want to try and colonize the world by creating electricity and researching better ways of survival and this ties us into the next mechanics we're looking at and that is the research tree now this mechanic is fantastic and super in-depth this takes you from pretty basic items and crafting in early game to really advanced and complex crafting later on in the game now the game also gives you the ability to recruit more survivors throughout the game this is done by crash pots with survivors inside that you can rescue you can also recruit some of the local bandits but this is harder and slower process and if Find a way to recruit them is from nearby towns so you can use caravans where you send out your survivors to complete objectives or sell your supplies to other towns and you can then recruit other survivors from them now there is no set story in rimworld things can go any direction in any given game you could have a trader caravan arrive to your base and then suddenly a random raid launches and a massive shootout takes place and the story is incredibly well done in this game since each game is different there are similarities between your games but they'll never be the same now rimworld is not really an easy game to pick up not that the game is difficult per se but the learning curve is definitely something to consider there are hard lessons to learn about base building and how to construct a good defense because without that you are going to get overrun in a second so you can of course counter this by looking up a few guides or just with trial and error but there will be quite a few moments when you first start out playing the game or you might lose a few colonists but it's all part of the game and trial and error now i personally really like the graphics of the game they're pretty simple but they fit the game well also i think the reason why the graphics are pretty simple is because there's a lot of things to look at and more complex textures might be pretty straining for their eyes now it sounds probably one of the least aspects of the game not that the sound is bad at all they're just pretty basic they're nothing special but they serve their purpose you don't play rimworld for the sound let's put it like that now in terms of replayability rimworld has everything from farming combat research building electricity taming and a lot more oh yes and a massive steam workshop with thousands of mods you can either add stuff or completely alter your game you can make your entire game into some kind of cowboy universe and you have complete control over this and the modding community is absolutely fantastic and i would highly recommend trying out some mods now let's look at the pros and cons of the game first of all is the random events i personally love this you never know what is going to happen in the game the sudden and random attacks to full-on crisis mode when your cook suddenly gets sick or like i mentioned before the random caravan turning into a massive shootout at your base the next pro look at is the colonists and these all have their own strengths and weaknesses and each survivor is crucial for the overall health of the colony and i personally love that they all have these aspects and they all have relationships with each other and you have to find some kind of way to manage and balance out all the needs you have for your colony and the final pro we're looking at is the game variety and mods this is fantastic you will never run out of things to explore build or improve the base game alone will give you hundreds of hours of gameplay and then when you add in the mods you will get thousands of hours easily this is the kind of game you can load up in the morning on a saturday and before you know it the entire day is gone you've just used eight hours straight just playing this game that is how good it is now the only real con i have about rimworld is the learning curve now i don't personally mind this but it's definitely going to deter some people and it's something to be mindful of if you're looking at buying the game there is a lot of necessary information you have to figure out on your own or look up on the internet the game will not tell you in any sort of way it won't tell you how to do anything with clothing armor roofs how do the colonists having a mental breakdown there's a lot of stuff in this game like we talked about before there's a lot of game variety but the game won't tell you anything about it and how to deal with it so there'll be a lot of trial and error but it is a pretty steep learning curve in my opinion now let's create the game shall we and then 
grade of RimWorld is an A+. That's right. I almost never give up this grade, but RimWorld is just that fantastic. There is so much to explore and do, and that's just in the base game alone without even counting in the mods. If you're able to look past the slightly steep learning curve, this can easily become your new main game. Now, if you're looking at buying the game, I have to warn you, the game is not on sale very often. And even when it is on sale, for instance, like a Steam summer sale, it is usually not more than 10 to 20%. So if you're interested in buying it, just go ahead and buy it now, as there won't really be any massive sales. If you find this video useful, make sure to like the video and also subscribe for more future game reviews. Also check out the videos on the screen now, as I think you really like those. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace out, folks.